we're going to store a link in a Google Doc. So when we click on the text, it'll show the link. We click on the link, and that'll take us to the page that we want to look at. So here I have my Christmas list, and I am going to put a link for a snowshoe bag on the Christmas list. So here is Charlie's wish list 2022. This is where the link is going to be stored. And I have typed in the text that is going to hold the link. And I'm going to put the link in here, embed it. So I have now where the link is going to be held or stored. And up here, I also have a tab open with the item that I want to buy. So I have my snowshoe bag. Make sure that you do everything like, you know, click the correct size because that's going to change the URL. So to get, catch the URL, I'm going to go way up here and all this gibberish, which would take up three or four lines on a Google Doc, I'm going to click it once and I'm going to highlight it. Now it's ready to go. And I can either go over here to edit and I can copy or I can use the shortcut of command C. I'm always a shortcut kind of guy, so I'm going to do that same thing. And now that URL is stored on the clipboard. Come back here to my list. And it's important to highlight um, everything that you want that's going to be the link. All right. So if I just clicked on this, then and I linked it, then it would say snowshoe in black and bag would be in blue with the underlined blue line. But I don't want that. So I'm going to select the entire thing. Okay. And I can do a couple of things. I can come up here to insert and come down here to link. And that is also Command K. And you can do it either way. It'll take you to the same place. So I'm going to just do the keyboard Command K. And let me get out of here. I'm going to do that over. Command K. And it says search or paste a link. Now, I'd really su suggest that you always have the link ready to go. I'm going to do um, Command V. And it's going to drop that down in here. This is what it is. Uh, so I know I'm in a good Good path. I have Amazon, Com, Snowshoe Bag, and I'm going to go to Apply. Good news is we now have the Snowshoe Bag text highlighted in blue with the blue underline. And if I just mouse over that and click on that text, I now have a preview of the page. And I can either come down here and click on the text to start, or I can collect on the picture. And when I do that, I come to the page. If I go back here, I have some options. If I click on this and bring up the link, um, I can either copy this link if I need to for some reason. Um, I can edit the link. I would suggest not doing that. I would suggest you delete the link, just get rid of it, um, and then you do that over here. You click on the broken uh, chain link to remove the link, and then put the corrected link on top of it. But these are just some things that you can do um, with the link that's in there. All right, so we have here where the link is going to be stored. Up here is where the target page is that we're going to arrive at with the link. And that, in a nutshell, is how to insert a hyperlink into some text.